good. Welcome to another Don's Quick Favor. And this morning, I want to talk about the um, tweet that Kirk Warner, um, Hall of Famer, that put out about the Falcons and Desmond Ritter. We knew earlier, well, earlier yesterday that uh, Arthur Smith has benched Ritter and Taylor Heineke will start this week, this Sunday against the Vikings. But let's get back to Warner's um, tweet. He said, you guys know I don't like saying anything without having evidence to back it up. So here's a quick video in Falcon stuff I was seeing that was hard for me to put on the quarterback. He said, team sport, lots going on, but easy to see and blame QB. But in parentheses, he said, but I'm trying to see it all and be objective. So, this is coming from a quarterback who literally got into the ranks of being one of the best or one of the greatest quarterbacks of all times. All right, we knew the story of, you know, Rags to Riches with him. He was a grocery shop, Kurt Warner. We knew he was a grocery um, back store bagger. Won um, the Super Bowl in 99 with the St. Louis Rams. Had Mike Martz as his play caller at the time, the offense coordinator. And for what, a few years in St. Louis, they had the best offense in the league. So, but back to Arthur Smith. And I've said this on the show last night, too. I'm not really going to blame Ritter for all the mistakes that's been happening with the Falcons because at the end of the day, you have former NFL players that are coming out and speaking out on Arthur Smith's play calling and his scheme. And I really feel at this point, Arthur Smith is – his scheme is flawed by design. It's – you're creating it. You're sitting up there – you know, days before the game started, and you were like, okay, well, I'm going to put this player on this down and on this uh, formation. Got look, man, you got to do better. And now you we pretty much put Ritter out there to dry and everybody thinking that, okay, he has to be this horrible quarterback. And I feel like Arthur Smith did not do Ritter any type of favors of helping him develop. And I also said this about Arthur Smith. You got to put your ego aside. We know you're not a quarterback developer. You never developed a quarterback before in your career. All right. Now, Marcus Mariota, Ryan Tannehill, he was established before he got to Tennessee. Matt Ryan was already established when you got here to Atlanta. All right. And you tried to rejuvenize Mariota's career last year. We knew that, you know, (laughs) that didn't uh, do well for us neither. So now Ritter's bench, and now we we playing Taylor Heineke. So that being said, we gonna see how the game is gonna go this Sunday versus the Vikings. If he come out, we come out. The scheme is still off. The play calling doesn't make any sense. Everybody gonna see now, like is Arthur Smith. Play calling the scheme is the huge is the main problem here in Atlanta. And if it is, and he's not trying to adjust and get out of his own way, I'm not gonna sit here and say Arthur Smith is gonna be on the hot seat, but there's gonna be some changes this offseason. Is rather is he's gonna have to uh, be relieved of his play calling uh, duties and give it to someone else. We may have to hire. A, a quarterback developer and some some offensive guy, you know, to come here to Atlanta to help a Desmond Ritter if we decide that we want to get him another shot next season, or if we may go into the draft of free agency and get somebody, you know, that can be our starting quarterback. Who knows? I'm not going to hit the panic. I'm not going to hit the panic button um, because it's too early. We got nine games left. We're four and four. If we can somehow manage to win five to six more games out of this nine games, and it's not going to be easy, then things is pretty much going to be the same. Status quo is going to still be the same next year. But something has to give with our offense. 
All right. Um, if y'all go check us out at D Heavy Hitters and uh, Atlanta Falcons Nation on YouTube, you guys know what we're talking about. Um, I tried to, you know, put out videos this week about the situation with Ritter getting benched. Um, Grady Jerry got injured. Like, i just been busy this week. Not even going to lie to you guys. But, hey, make sure y'all check us out. Um, we're around the clock. We're throwing out content for you guys. But, again, this is another done quick favor. Let me know what you guys think, man, about Kurt Warner's um, message. I'm out.